The sun decides to take a snooze after an extended period of solar storming, but even while napping, it reminds us it can still fire solar storms. Those stories and more in the news this week. The space weather has finally calmed down after an extended period of storming about 10 days ago. Things keep getting quieter and quieter. We had region 2653 that fired off a solar storm. It looked like it was going to be earth directed, but it's actually grazing us off to the west. So it's not going to disturb us nearly as much. So things continue to be pretty quiet. And as we look at the rest of the sun, we don't have any, any coronal holes or any fast wind that's coming soon and no other solar storms. And it looks like it's probably going to stay that way for the next 10 10 days. Switching to your M flare threat meter, you can see we still remain extremely low when it comes to flares. The last time we even had a C class flare was back on the 22nd. Since then, things continue to just stumble and bumble along. We're well below the sea floor. The solar flux continues to be low. This means amateur radio propagation is pretty marginal, and this trend will continue easily through the next week. Switching to our solar storm conditions, you can see the last time we actually were at storm levels was back around the 19th, and we continued storming even to moderate levels until about the 25th where things began to calm down and calm down. And since then, we've kind of been feeling the reprieve. Thank goodness everybody's kind of relaxing now. We're all sitting at unsettled conditions, and this will continue easily through the next week. So what else does the sun have in store for us this week? Well, this is Stereo A. It's our backside monitor. You can see here's Earth, here's the sun, and here's Stereo A staring at the sun from behind. And what you can see immediately is that the backside is a lot busier than the front side. We have two coronal holes that you can see on the backside. That's with the source of the fast wind. And the first of those holes should be rotating back into Earth view in about five days or so. Then it has to rotate into the Earth strike zone so that fast wind can actually hit Earth. And that should be happening in about two weeks weeks. Outside of that, we got that second coronal hole. That's the bad boy that's the source of that huge storming that we had just a couple weeks ago ourselves. That will probably take another three weeks or so to rotate into the Earth strike zone again and start yet another round of solar storming. Switching to your solar storm conditions and aurora possibilities over the coming week, we are experiencing that solar storm that was launched just a few days ago. It's kind of blowing by us to the west. NOAA is expecting uh, active conditions at high latitudes with about a 25 to 30 percent chance of a minor storm over the next couple days, and then things should calm down. At mid latitudes, we really are only expecting unsettled conditions, but there's about a 15 to 30 percent chance of uh, active conditions for the next couple days. Again, things should settle down after that. We probably aren't going to see much more after that. And then we got probably a whole week of quiet. Switching to your solar flare and particle radiation storm outlook over the coming week, pretty much everything is once again in the green when it comes to solar flares. We have region 2654 that we're watching just a little bit, but it's pretty much just popping and fizzing and not giving us all that much. So that's good news for you amateur radio operators and GPS operators. We're not expecting any radio blackouts anytime soon, but the trade-off, of course, is that we're having a marginal levels of solar flux, which affects radio propagation for you uh, ham radio ops. So that trend is going to continue easily over the next week and probably even longer. So the space weather this week is extremely quiet. It's sure a far cry from the solar storming we had just a couple weeks ago. All that activity is now on the back side of the sun. So you GPS and you amateur radio operators enjoy this reprieve. I know amateur radio propagation isn't as great as it should be, but that's going to continue because we're getting closer and closer to solar minimum. And you aurora photographers, you know, enjoy the, the reprieve as well and rest up because in another couple weeks, we're going to have a chance for those big solar storms again. I'm Tamitha Scove. Thank you for watching.